Hi there, it's Tropical Rare Seeds here in Africa, uh, one of the eBay sellers. What I'm doing is I'm doing a video today on how to smoke prime seeds. What you're going to need is you're going to need some branches. You're going to need uh, some dried leaves. I've got some eucalyptus there, doesn't matter what type you have. And you'll need your seeds, some form of a fireproof bowl. I'm using a metal bowl there. And a screen, which is cut to size, that will actually fit over the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break up some of the branches and I'll be back in a minute. I'm back again. You can see I've filled the bowl up with some broken branches and leaves. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to light the bowl. Obviously don't place your seeds inside the fire itself. What the goal here is, it's to create uh, some smoking branches. Obviously you don't want to barbecue your seeds. You want to try and let the flames spread through the entire bowl here. You can see that's burning quite nicely. What the goal is, it's to create some smoking embers. Again, I do want to emphasize, don't place your seeds inside there because if you burn your seeds, those will be destroyed. What we're trying to do is we're trying to mimic the smoke, uh, sort of what you get after a bushfire, and that will help to germinate your seeds there. I'll let that burn. That'll probably burn for about five, ten minutes, and I'll be back once I'm at the stage where I'm going to start smoke priming the seeds. Okay, I'm back again. You can see here. We've got a flame on there. What we want to try and do is we want to try and blow this out. And be quite careful when you do this. You can see there's some smoke coming off that. Obviously you can feel there's some heat as well. What you want to do is you want to take your seeds on the screen itself. Just place those on top keep your hand there as well to make sure that you're not actually creating a barbecue for your seeds obviously as that is burning there not one of the seeds fell into the fire thing that seed won't be good it won't be viable these are seeds I hadn't actually intended on planting. What I'm going to do is just get some eucalyptus seed leaves on there. Just to create some smoke. Okay, make sure you select the size of your screen properly. You can see that is actually just smoldering away. The longer you can do this, the better. If you could probably wait, let's say about maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just to make sure to smoke prime the seed itself. You can see the eucalyptus seed, there's the leaves are turning brown. Making sure that it's not too hot. What I'm gonna do is I'll let this smoke prime for about 10 minutes, YouTube time, and I'll be back with the final procedure. Okay, I'm back again. You can see that everything's died down. It's just smoking a tiny bit. What you want to do is you want to add some water to this to capture the smoke essence. Don't actually place your seed inside of that. What you want to do is you want to let that soak. And at the same time, if there's any bigger pieces in there, <clears throat> you want to try and break that up if that was burnt a bit more properly you'd probably end up with something which is a bit more consistent in itself what we are going to do is we're actually going to use this mixture here once it cools down in a planting medium itself to uh, mimic what happens in the wild with regard to uh, when there's a bushfire yeah I'll let that cool down and I'll be back in a bit and I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing with the seed. Ok, 
Again, what I have here is I have a pot. Pot should ideally be sterilized. This is just an example. So the, it's not a pot which I've sterilized. It's an old one. And you want to get some compost, which is free draining. And you want to break up the lumps. You can see I've actually added a bit of sand to that itself. You don't want to end up with anything which is too muddy because some of the seeds itself, they can be prone to um, rotting off take your mixture here, your soup of burnt branches and things like that, which contain the smoke essence, obviously which has cooled down. You want to work that into the compost itself. We'll simply take this, you can see this actually mimics what you would find on the floor after a fire itself, probably the soil wouldn't be that rich and the branches themselves, they add a bit of humus to the soil, also a bit of texture to it to make it a bit more free draining you can see the smoke essence, if you smell it, is actually in the soil itself this works out a lot cheaper method than buying some of the smoke primers that you see on the internet. Now you want to get your seed, if it's a protea seed or whatever type of seed which needs smoke priming itself. I've got it here. Just place it inside about that far down, not too far. And just cover that up like that simple as that what you may wish to do is take a clear piece of plastic uh, cover the pot itself keep it somewhere warm keep it on the dry side as well the moisture which is in there that should be more than sufficient for that to start growing and there you go there's your smoke primed seed all you need is your uh, fireproof bowl don't use a ceramic one because it'll catch on fire you're gonna need some branches some leaves with your screen and that's about it and hopefully that protea seed that should probably germinate let's say in about three four weeks time under those conditions what you could do is if you wanted to you could actually make some smoke prime water as well um, just to keep it on the moist side to to mimic those type of conditions where the smoke essence helps it to actually germinate hope you've enjoyed that video and good luck with your seed